back to Legendary Sniff. My name's Anthony. I'm Jack. We had to jump into it a, a sec early because uh, we had some fucking technicality difficulties there. It was it really loud. I was watching TV, so I had the thing up loud because it takes forever to fucking render these up or whatever the hell. Would you call it a technical difficulty, what we experienced? Probably not. It was just the TV was too loud. I was going to tell a... Uh, story I don't know if I should but I'm gonna anyways um, we talked about earlier in the show that I'm like 26 now so I have to pay for my own health insurance mm -hmm. so my game plan what I'm excited for because I haven't been to the doctor in seven years is to try to hum oh. at the doctor to get them to prescribe me like a bunch of drugs <laughs> um, oh you messed up <sighs> I did I already threw you just have to dodge this guy. Well, oh, all right. Oh, they're coming. They're coming. Uh, they're coming. <laughs> I'm not sure that's gonna work. It's gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> this is fucking impossible. Um, no, you just messed up. You went to the left when you should have gone to the right. Yeah, you're right. See, like that. Like, look at them. They barely tell you where they're going. They're fucking degenerates. Literally left, middle. Right. Left. But then this guy's already left. Middle. Middle. Right. Left. Middle. Right. I guess this works. My my concern is like, oh, you took a little while on that one. Would they? I like I did well in school, so there was never any like concern. But like, I still think that I had or have some kind of attention deficit like problems but the question is like at 26 years old would they be like if you were like oh i think i have attention deficit problems would they be like yeah we think you also have attention deficit <laughs> problems or would they just be like i mean you made it 26 yeah. years <laughs> like, deal you're, with you're, it. you're gonna be fucking fine <laughs> like don't even worry about it um we'll see we'll see what happens i already uh one of our people that we know already gave me a suggestion on a uh, very loose doctor <laughs> keen on uh, prescribing things even if not necessary so <laughs> should be able to <sighs> sweet thank god we're done with this fucking mission it was hard <laughs> I had um this whole week's been a disaster for like work Two hours of sleep the first night, five hours the second night, five hours last night. But last night at 4.38 a.m., my computer decided to do a uh, Windows update and, like, just automatically did the update and restarted itself, which is fine, right? Your computer should do that. But I... It popped up to, like, the screen where you sign in your Windows account... And just started at full volume auto playing Trailer Park Boys at full volume, which I had left going before I went to bed. So I woke up to Fuck you! Ba ba ba! Quit shooting, you asshole! <laughs> full volume scared the shit out of me. I had to jump out of bed. <clears throat> That's how my morning was, Anthony. <laughs> that was one of those things I wanted to tell you, but I was like, I can't tell you because I had to wait for the. Your legendary sniff. I went to bed. Woke up at like midnight because my body's like four hours, you're good. Was awake till maybe like six. Then fell back asleep till maybe like ten. And that's how my nights go. <laughs> you also, your dogs must wake you up like as soon as they're ready, right? Like they're just like, all right, awake time. Like, so I, I say, Coda, stop. No. And she stops <laughs> for a little while. <laughs> she doesn't strike me as the type of dog to give a shit if you're like, no. She, uh, every time she greets me, I'm always like, oh, yep, hello, like, and I pet her. And then, like, four minutes into <laughs> me being at the house when you'd think a dog would fucking calm down already, she'll, like, 
while I'm standing, full nut, send herself <laughs> into my chest and, like, slam into me. It's, uh... It can be tough to deal with. I can kidnap this general. Why do you have to do that? Because he knows too much. We gotta take care of him. Um, been playing. Did you ever play the game Subnautica? No. I bought it Friday night, and it's Wednesday right now, and I've put 26 hours into it playtime. <laughs> I think I'm about to beat it. It's so fucking good. I can't even tell you. Castle security isn't the best. She's been doing whatever you want. <laughs> Welcome back again. We fucking the disc disconnected itself again really good. And then it reconnected. I said, Jack, wait, it'll reconnect. And he said, no. Then it reconnected. Safe house? Easy. <laughs> That was the, one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. That American dad. <laughs> I've been doing Gucci Gucci Goo with a gun. Nobody noticed. Oh, they oh. noticed. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I'm just gonna take him this way. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep running. Nothing to worry about. Hup! Hup! <laughs> Hup! Oh! Ah! <laughs> hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> what is this shit? <laughs> oh no, the crow. <laughs> He's a degenerate. He's running. He's going no, back. General, come back! <laughs> get him, get him, get him. Hit him this way, bump him up. Easy. See, this game is not. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna say it's not hard. <laughs> <sighs> oh, I just remembered what I. How you do this part. Since he's invincible, you can just chuck him at people. No. Yeah, you'll see it happen. But, uh. Subnautica bought it on Xbox originally. Xbox couldn't handle it at all, <laughs> so it was like. I just stopped playing it. Um. But now I have it on PC and it can handle it and it's fucking amazing. That's rude. Easy. <clears throat> uh oh. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna start beating. These guys are all cops vibes. <sighs> Oh, that's the dude I need. Alright, come with me. Um, but they... I just so happened to be playing Subnautica, and someone was like, Oh, did you play Subnautica Below Zero? I'm like, what's that? The sequel to Subnautica in the Arctic Zone. Isn't which, it cold? Yeah, officially released, like, today. Um, like, at an early... A it's been in early access for, like, two years or some shit. Um, so the second I finish playing Subnautica, I'm gonna do Below Zero. Yeah. Did you? This is like a outside the Let's Play, like official Legendary Snip update. Um, did you stop that when we stopped the episode? Okay, so it's like up to date then. Well, well, General Clawfoot, we've got a lot to talk about. You wouldn't by chance know the security codes to the castle gates. Is he big tickle him? Don't feel like talking, huh? How about a little of this? <laughs> Horrible voice acting. <laughs> the fucking general. You're gonna have to jerk me off if you, <laughs> if you want any of the codes. Cinematic? I like that shit. Fellas, let's get down to business. 
The first step to escalating the war between Mila and the Contessa have gone well. We are down to the final setup before we spring our trap. Sly, I need you to steal a voice modulator from the castle and install it under Neela's headquarters. If all goes as planned, it should allow us to give orders to her mercenaries without being detected. Unfortunately, Neela's recent bomber purchase has made her army over-enthusiastic, and they might strike before we're ready. Which leads me to Murray. I need you to hotwire one of the Contessa's tanks and go to town on the mercenaries. We just need to intimidate them a little. And finally, I'll venture back into the crypt to power up that old computer in the re-education tower. We're going to need it to save Carmelita. Oh, and Sly, if you haven't already got one, you'll need to buy a paraglider for the heist. Okay, let's move out! Sweet. It seems like so many different things. There's been one mission so for each of them. Well, they, Contessa's a two-part fucking journey, yeah, but... Let's see where we're at. So I need 200 coins. I think you have it. I don't. <laughs> 340. I'll have to squeeze in some pickpocketing while we're fucking... Where's this, uh... Steal the voice module? There it is. Alright, let's go do that shit. Doink. Oh. Um, oh, it's on this side. That's ideal. Pretty sure there's a crow boy right here. This is how you get money in the game. Shit. I was watching our uh, Wheel of Fortune episode that came out today. Mm -hmm. What the fuck is that? It's like a styrofoam thing. <laughs> You left in the part where you pause it, and you're just like, I need to go to the bathroom yeah. right now. <laughs> <laughs> you just took off. <laughs> this guy's got a valuable in his pocket. Well, I mean, there was like ten minutes of me in the bathroom that I cut out. <laughs> didn't I, like, talk? I don't know. During I didn't, that part I didn't or listen to it. I just skipped through it. I wasn't going to sit there for ten minutes and listen to nothing. Yeah, so. fair enough. This mission. The Contessa plans on taking control of Neela's army by fooling them with a prototype voice modulation device. To get the thing working, she'll have to jack it into the satellite connection oh, beneath Neela's headquarters. So, jack it in. Steal the device and hook it up for our side, giving us control over Neela's mercenaries. Sounds great. There's pockets to be picked. I'm your man. First, steal a wiretap and the voice modulator. Then head for the sewers beneath Neela's headquarters. I'm on it. Sure thing. Oh, this was a mistake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dun, dun. You oh, killed him. Stupid. <laughs> and I'm gone. Doesn't matter that they have wings. Good thing they can't use their wings. Kill that one in the back. Good. <laughs> and now go back up. And then hide. I'm and now. I don't even have to hide. He I said, just... where did he go? I don't know. Oh, job's done. <laughs> Neela's mercenary tanks are clearly the better, uh, unit. Got a lot of fucking coins in this pocket. <laughs> and dead. Does it ping it? Nice. <clears throat> I hope no fucking dogs attack me here. I hope no dogs attack me. So we had, um, there's no way this kid ever sees <laughs> our legendary sniff, uh, Sly Cooper series. Since we're, like, work from home right now, um, fuck, we have 15, we're at 15 already. Um, we're yeah, we're probably at 1450, but, uh, yeah. 
probably can't tell the fucking so I'll save it for the next one. Um but I'm gonna pickpocket this guy. And we'll fucking see you guys on the next episode. Okay, I'm gonna find airplane. Never. <laughs> Alright, see ya.